Yeah, we've been a member of the Town South Church now for... Uh, since about the beginning. Since very close to the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, we remembered back in the old days when we met in a gymnasium that was not our gymnasium. It was the uh, Albert Mall Academy. And then we moved over to Rona Bible College and we were a part of the first campaign when we came into the original building. And uh, I remember then we did something similar uh, in that campaign that we've done with this one, and that is we, we asked different folks for uh, a commitment, uh, a financial commitment, and, uh, and also a work commitment uh, to getting it done. Well, you know, anytime you make a new commitment, um, it's always a little bit scary. Um, Rich and I talked about how much we thought we'd be able to do, and um, God has blessed us um, with being able to do that every month. Uh, we really haven't noticed that much of a difference actually because um, it's part of what we do now and uh, we're blessed to be able to do it. We've been blessed in so many ways. Um, every time we've ever made a financial commitment, we're, we're amazed. We mm -hmm. say every time, my goodness, look at this, we've given this much more and in return, whether it's finances or whatever, the Without return failure. is so much greater Without failure. than what we've put into it. And it, it's exciting because yeah. we say it every time. And not just in, in monetarily. Right. But no. also, I mean, although that's what we're talking about right, right Yeah. But it's also, like, wow, a bill that we thought was going to be X was a lot less. And then something else that we were expecting didn't come to fruition. So then you know you've got that backfill of wow we've given this out and we still have plenty um what i've done is like i've had to do chores around the house and um i get an allowance so like i empty and fill the dishwasher i clean my room and um stuff like that and then i get like money every week and so I save up the money and then like um, like weeks I take in money to the church and then I um, just give it to the jam offering because that's where I started. I think we're really looking forward to having the nice parking lot and the beautiful landscaping and the invitingness of coming into the building and then to be able to come in and have a foyer big enough where you can stand around and visit and chat and hug and then talk a little more and hug. And then Rich is really excited about the tennis courts because he loves playing tennis. Him and Bobby are already making plans. So that's really good. Um, we're just excited that it's really going to allow our kids to have some areas to where it can be just theirs. The most thing I'm excited about is the jam town. I'm really excited to like help out with the kids and to see new things that are going to happen for the children's ministry. One of the reasons we wanted to uh, support this project is because we know how important kids are to the future of the church. Absolutely. And uh, building this new children's wing um, it's going to be good for the kingdom here in Elizabeth City. Does it does it matter that um, how big your gift is? No. Why not? Because like everything counts. Like you don't need to give a lot. You can give just a little. So you mean kids your age are able to give? And it makes a difference. Yes. It's made a difference, hasn't it? To you too, right? Yes. And so we're just thankful that God is allowing us to be part of it because um, we all have ownership in this as family of Town South. And for you to be able to join in giving to this is um, a blessing that um, you will get a feeling inside like you have a small part and that you're helping God's kingdom grow with this. And so please consider giving because it is an awesome blessing, one that you will not regret. If you've never been a part of something like this, 
I, I gotta tell you, you're really missing out on a great opportunity. And just remember, 25, 26 years ago, the plot of land where we're sitting now was a big giant field. And lots of people came together and said, you know what, we can do this. We can do it. And we did. And now we're able to serve the community. And Jonathan's got us all out there in the community doing our thing and working with people. And none of that would have been possible had some people not said, you know what, we're going to commit. We're going to do this. And then once you see it done, you can look at that. You can look at the not only the bricks and mortar, but the people who are filling that building and say, right. I had a part in that. Mm -hmm. You can't outgive God. The main reason, the primary reason I really want a new building is so that we'll have a place to hang a Duke banner when Absolutely. the team, when yes. the Duke basketball team wins the their national fifth championship. national championship.